to assess if they meet our definition of extremism and will take action as appropriate. There are, of course, further steps that we will take in the coming days and weeks to marginalise extremist groups and to support and strengthen those communities where extremists are most active and spreading division. This will include responding to Dame Sarah Khan's forthcoming report on social cohesion and democratic resilience and Lord Walney's independent review of how to counter political violence and disruption. Chair, firstly, uh, Chancellor, um, uh, but you see Diane Abbott on the TV, you just want to hate all black women because she's there. I think she should be shot. Uh, Mr Hester, um, was this rude or racist as a comment? Um, it was both. Uh, it was a despicable comments that should not have been made. Uh, he's not apologised for being racist. He's only apologised for being rude. Do you think he should apologise for the racist well, comment? Well, he has apologised for his comments, uh, which uh, I believe were racist and rightly so. In this debate, we must never forget about the experiences of victims of extremism who are targeted by extremist groups and the severe and distressing impact it has on their lives. So I'm pleased that Dame Sarah Khan will be addressing this in her forthcoming report. Now, um, you're Chancellor of the entire country, but if you were Treasurer of the Conservative Party, would you return the £10 million pounds that this man has donated to the Conservative Party? Well, um, I'm not Treasurer of the Conservative Party, but um, I don't believe that someone should be cancelled for a comment they made in the past and for which they have apologised. But that does not make the comments any less despicable, and I don't defend them. You're happy to accept the money, but you don't defend the comments? I think the comments are despicable, and I also think that uh, the Conservative Party's record on these issues speaks for itself, uh, with the first uh, ethnic minority Prime Minister, uh, an incredibly diverse cabinet. I'm incredibly proud of what my party has done to increase diversity, and we stand on that record. As the Prime Minister has said, the time has come for us all to stand together, to combat the forces of division and to beat this poison. The liberties that we hold dear, and indeed the democratic principles we're all sent here to uphold, require us to counter and challenge the extremists who seek to intimidate, to coerce and to divide. Do you think that Frank Hester is a fit and proper person to be in receipt of hundreds of millions of pounds of taxpayer money on public contracts, given his private attitudes? Well, um... I was uh, health secretary when uh, he Rather was... Rather a lot of black and ethnic minority workers in the health service after all. I was health secretary when um, a number of those contracts were given to him. Um, to my not... First of all, no contracts ever decided. We have to be clear-eyed about the threat we face, precise about where that threat comes from, and rigorous in defending our democracy. That means upholding freedom of expression, religion and belief when they are threatened, facing down harassment and hate, supporting the communities facing the greatest challenge from extremist activity, and ensuring this House and this country are safe, free and united. I commend this statement to the House.